You know what this is? This is a chart saying how many signings each Premier League club has made so far this summer. Nottingham Forest, we've already mentioned them. 15 so far, that will grow. Newly promoted Forest and also newly promoted Fulham. Eight signings from them. And Leeds, remember, they lost Rafinha, they lost Calvin Phillips, so they have had to replace them and they've got a bit of money to do it. So eight signings for them. Brentford were seven. Same with Tottenham. They got their do business done early. They're now all about getting players out widely praised by their own fans there for their business this summer so far. West Ham also with seven and looking for more. Chelsea with six and looking for more. Southampton with five as well. In fact, they're all looking for more, by the way. Southampton's got six. Few clubs there on five. Just the four for Brighton, Manchester City, Newcastle and Wolves. But then Liverpool with just the three and they might be finished. Uh, Manchester United with just the three. They want a few more. Leicester, just the one. Alex Smithies has come in on a free transfer, the goalkeeper. So if we have a look at that, uh, with the transfer team now. Emma, who do you think's done the best business out of those 20 teams? Look, I don't want to say it's the very best business, but look, I, I've opted for Chelsea here purely because, I'm going to say, a few weeks ago, I was, I was unsure if they'd be able to compete, and I'm talking compete with the likes of City and Liverpool to win the title, but also compete with the likes of Arsenal and Spurs as well in terms of finishing top four because they'd done so well in the transfer market, and, and Spurs and Arsenal just kind of gone about their business with zero fuss as well. But... What's impressive about Chelsea is that they've kind of bought on a couple of fronts. We see their six signings. You look at the three kind of ready-made signings. Look at them over the weekend in that London derby against Tottenham. Koulibaly with the goal, who was just brilliant. He was so composed throughout. Mark Kukurea, some people had their reservations. Not naming names, Nabade. <laughs> yes, they did have their reservations. Um, but look, he was so confident on the ball. He was brilliant going forward as well. Raheem Sterling had some brilliant moments. He's probably frustrated not to, to get a Chelsea goal yet. But they've made some fantastic signings. And look, they're probably not done yet either. Of course, they, we've been talking about Wesley Fofana throughout the window. We know they want to bring a goal scorer in, in as well, whether that is Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. We'll have to wait and see. But there are those signings who have hit the ground running, but they've also built for the future as well. They've got some really talented young players in. We were hearing yesterday that they've agreed a deal with Inter for their young midfielder, Cesar Cassade. They've brought a young goalkeeper in from uh, the MLS. They've brought a young midfielder in from Aston Villa as well. Um, so they've kind of done dealings on, on both fronts at the moment. So that's why I've been impressed, really, with Chelsea. What do you think, Dan? Yep, all, all valid points. I, I'd go Arsenal just because I think they had a, an area that needed improving. They needed a goal scorer and they have got in the best goal scorer that they possibly could have got in the market that they're able to go and get players from. They've brought in two winners in Jesus and, and, and Zinchenko who've, who've won titles. They know what it's, what it's about. They'll chat help kind of evolve that culture in the dressing room that Arteta's trying to do. I don't know if I'm being too influenced by the documentary that's on, <laughs> on at the moment. But, you know, they're, move, they're moving towards now, looking like winners, looking like a proper team. They've started the season well with, with six points as well. Jesus has, has scored a couple of goals at the weekend. I just think everything about Arsenal, they're heading in the right direction now. And that probably shows you as well, if you give a manager a little bit of time, because mm. this time last year, I was laughing at Arsenal.